Howdy folks, and welcome to Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. I'm Randy Bowser, your host and guide for this new series that's gonna take us fishing to all of the best inshore fishing areas throughout the Yucatan of Mexico. So folks, if you love to fish, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. You're gonna love it. Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. Brought to you by Okuma Inspired Fishing, Rapala, DOA Fishing Lures, Power Pro Fishing Line, Suzuki Marine, and Marina Rojano and Yucalpatin. Coming up in this episode, we're gonna take you fishing to the northern tip of the Yucatan of Mexico, to the Rio Lagartos Biosphere Reserve. We're gonna target snook and tarpon. But first, we're going fishing in the Rio, in Progreso, Mexico, targeting the hard-fighting speckled sea trout. Yeah. Whoa, got to have a trout right there. There you go, Bob. All right, ah, catch and release. That's what we like to do. Good morning, folks, and welcome to Yucatan Anglers TV. I'm fishing with my good friend and our pro guide, Bob Thomas. And we are in the Ria here in Progreso, Yucalpatin, Chilem, and Chuberna. The Ria is basically just a backwater lagoon, about 5,000 of fishable acres. It goes for another mile on back that way, but very shallow, shallow water. So we've got about 5,000 acres here that's loaded with speckled sea trout. This is a great, great hatchery for the speckled sea trout. Um, we target these trout out here with a couple of lures only. We fish with the jigs and the topwater baits. And as you just seen, these trout love to attack that topwater lure. So y'all stay tuned. We're gonna catch some speckled sea trout for you. And then here a little bit later, we're gonna take you to Rio Lagartos Biosphere Reserve. And we're gonna go fish for some snook and for some tarpon. Uh, we make a point to throw all of the small dinks back and anything over two pounds. This would actually be a keeper, nice filetable fish, but we're going to go ahead and let this one go. little breeze, a little chop on the water, and we can catch them all day long. And it's nothing to catch what? 30, 40. Exactly, between two or three people out here fishing in a four hour period, um, we can catch 30, 40, even 50 fish. <laughs> so this is about the, uh, this is a small size. We have a ton of this size here in the Ria. And our specks here get this beautiful golden color to them. Uh, unlike some of the other trout that I've seen up in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, because they're more in a stained water, so they get more gray color because we have this crystal clear water here. Um, and of course, sun, 365, they get their nice Mexican suntan to them. Real pretty fish. This one is eager to get back in the water. Let him go. All right, little buddy. So folks, we use a lot of these DOA jigs out here in assorted colors. Uh, they're just with, with the shad tail, mind you. They are most effective on these trout. Not to mention the blowfish and the needlefish that love to chew these up. Thank you DOA very much for sending us so many lures because they'll bite these tails off and then they're rendered useless. But uh, to fish with these jigs out here, it is really, really super simple. 
it's just a good long cast. Because of our shallow water, you close that bale quick. Steady retrieve. And when these trout hit, 